everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I've got a great project for you today. Let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? Of course, I love stars, and we've got our stars on here, but the fun part comes in, what happens in the corner of our star block makes this pinwheel. So let me show you how to do this. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is one packet of 10 inch squares, and we have used Sycamore by Jan Paddock for Moda. Um, I love Jan's fabric. It's always so warm and cozy. Love it. I love her too. She lives pretty close to us here and she's just a great gal. All right, so you're going to need one packet of 10 inch squares. You're going to need some background fabric, five and a half yards, and that takes care of all of this background fabric. And our outer border is two yards and that's a nice big six inch border because we wanted to show off that beautiful leaf print. I mean, it's just, just such a fun, fun thing. All right, let me show you how to do this. There's a little bit of cutting involved. So we're gonna take our 10 inch square and we're gonna cut it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this is the block we're talking about right here. Right here. And so we need some star legs and we need some of these geese that are in the corners out of every block. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna cut two strips of two and a half inch wide. Um, two strips that are two and a half inch wide right here. One and two. And then we're gonna subcut those into two and a half inch squares because we need eight two and a half inch squares to make our star points. So I'm just gonna lay these together. I'm gonna grab my little two and a half inch ruler and I'm just gonna cut. So there's two and then four, six, six and eight. So there's ours, they're all stacked double so you can see that there's actually eight there. Then out of the leftover piece, we're gonna cut our center square, which is gonna be four and a half. And we're gonna lay our ruler on here and just cut that out like that. So I'm just gonna cut kind of straight across, move this and then cut this over. That gives us a four and a half inch center square. And then we're gonna cut two, uh, two and a half by four and a half inch blocks. So I'm gonna cut two strips here like this, one and two right here. And then I'm just gonna cut a little half an inch off the end of these so that they're four and a half because they all need to be four and a half. So here we go, just like this. There's my little two inch pieces. So that's pretty good. I mean, this is pretty good waste for a, for a layer cake. I mean, not very much there. So you wanna just stack those up uh, in, in uh, keep them together. Keep your star legs together for sure, your centers and your, your bar blocks. All right, now we need to cut some background fabric and we need some two and a half inch squares. When we make our outer geese for the corners, they have the little two and a half inch squares and there's eight of those. And then you need 12 of these um, four and a half by two and a half inch blocks. So you're gonna cut, uh, cut your selvage off first. Oh, open your rotary blade. All things that are important, right? Then we're gonna cut um, some four and a half inch blocks and you're gonna need 12 of those for each block. And then you're also going to need um, eight, two, four, six, eight of the two and a half inch squares. So you, um, for, that's for each block. So let me just cut one more set here. All right, so we're gonna talk about making the star block first. And what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna take a center square and we want our star legs to be different. So I'm actually going to use another square I have over here. Here it is. And then we're talking about our star legs. And I have some legs done, but I'm gonna go ahead and show a couple of, a couple of these, how to do a couple of these. So let me get this apart, there we go. So we're gonna take our four and a half by two and a half inch rectangle and we're gonna put two two and a half inch squares on each corner uh, so diagonally corner to corner so you want to draw the line or iron a line you can finger press it like this and it gives you a little line so we're going to sew one trim that off iron it back and then sew the other side so let's go ahead and do that to a couple of them here 
So we're just gonna lay our uh, presser foot so from the corner to the corner. And I'm just gonna, you can chain piece these. So we're just gonna slide another one in. There we go. Now let's trim these off. And I like to just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and clip my thread and I like to just lay my ruler in here a little bit and trim that outside edge off, that outside corner. And then we're going to go to the iron and, <clears throat> and iron these back. Excuse me, I got a little frog in my throat. Not literally, There's, there really isn't a frog, but you know. <laughs> Sometimes when you say something, it's just like, oh, what, did I, what does that mean? <laughs> No, no frogs here. All right, here we go. So now these are ironed back. We're gonna add the other square to the other side and that's gonna make us a flying geese unit for our star legs. And so again, we're gonna put these on and we're gonna sew from the middle out. All right. There we go and one more. And you need four of these for your stars because you want legs on all four sides of your center square. And let me trim that one off. And we're going to press those open. All right. So you need four of these for your star. Now we're going to turn these into blocks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our four and a half by two and a half inch background blocks and we are gonna sew this onto the bottom of our flying geese units. And we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of those right here. There we go. And one more. You know, as I got to making these, um, I, I realized that whenever I sew the bottom strip on, I'm always sewing it, I'm sewing the background to the background. So that's a good thing to remember because we're gonna make another set of flying geese and the background is gonna go on the other side, but if you're always sewing the background to the background, it'll help you remember. All right. So let me show you how this is coming, coming together now. So here's our center and here's our legs and our legs are gonna go on all four sides like this. And so this is your star block. This is what you get. Now these corner blocks we fill in with another flying geese block. It's just made the opposite way. So let me show you how to do that. You're going to take your four and a half by two and a half inch rectangles that you cut off your 10 inch square. And you're going to take your background fabric and we're going to make a flying geese out of that. So again, we're just going to fold our corners like this and sew them from the center out. Oh, let's go this way like this and once you get that one sewn on you're going to add this one so this is how this flying geese block looks like this then what you're going to do is you're going to add your little background piece that is four and a half by two and a half to the top of that and that is going to go over in this corner right there so let's take some of these blocks let's move our star block and let's take some of these and let's put them in the corner so this one, they're going to rotate around. So that means they're just going to kind of fly in a circle around our quilt. So this one, they all have to point over, the, you know, just think of them going in a circle. Their little noses are going in a circle and they're going to come around like this. Oh, wait, this way. Circle, Jenny, circle. <laughs> so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to sew these three rows together and that makes our block. So don't get them mixed up. You know, make sure you stay with the, that they're going the right direction. And you can pin if you need to. I'm just going to stitch this down. This is the top row. And then I've left this sitting on my sewing table in the direction it goes. So I'm just going to pull that over here and sew that down right here. Now I'm going to sew the other two rows together and I'll meet you right back here. So now I have all my rows sewn and I'm ready to sew them together 
to make my whole block and just remember to press your top and bottom seams out like this and your middle seam in and everything will nest perfectly. So once you get those sewn together, you're going to have a block that looks just like this. Now the fun happens in this block as we put the blocks together. So let me show you what happens here. So here is this. We put them together just like this and you can see the half of the pinwheel starting and I'm going to go ahead and add another row down here so you can see. Look at that pinwheel that just forms by putting our blocks together. So up here we've got one, two, three, four, five stars across and one, two, three, four, five, six stars down. So 30 star blocks and then it makes all this edge. Now this is actually the top edge is like this. It ends like this. Look at well, let me show you here if I can find it, figure out how to get it on here. Oh, here we go. Like this. So I wanted these pinwheels to finish out in the border. So what I actually did was I took the rest of these blocks and sewed them together to make a border. So now I've got, you know, I've got my border here. I've got the rest of my geese blocks like this and they're going to be turned like this. And then you put a solid block in between and two more geese blocks and a solid block. You just fit them in as you go around and it finishes those pinwheels and gives you a whole nother look that's all finished and complete. I love it when we take things kind of out into the border. And so it just comes together so, so fun. So one of the really fun things about this quilt is the backing. So normally you'd need about seven and a half yards of backing for this because you'd sew three rows of three to get your back big enough. But I use fleece on the back. So let me show you this. Look at this fleece. Now, one thing that's really fun about fleece is when you quilt it, it shows the design. So look at that leaf quilting, that leaf motif you can see are quilting so clearly. The other fun thing is that it's super warm, but better than that, it's 60 inches wide. So you're only gonna need five yards of that fleece to make a nice big backing. And you'll probably have a little piece left over to make some pillow covers or something that are so cuddly and soft. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Stars and Pinwheels Quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.